With our new approach to blended learning, you might want to use your current presentations that you already have, and you might want to pre-record over them. Now you can pre-record with your audio and no video, or you can pre-record with your video and talking to your pupils. Okay, that's up to you, but I'm going to show you how to do it using PowerPoint. Okay, so this is a presentation that I want to pre-record over. So you can see this is one that's been used in the past. Okay, so to do it, we've got a slideshow, record slideshow. You can record from your current slide or from the beginning. So I'm choosing the beginning. And this is what the interface will look like. Okay, you can see you've got my slide there and my little picture. Um, I'm able to turn that off. So if I don't want to have my picture on there and I just want to talk over each slide, then I can do that. You can also turn off audio if you want to, but um, if you wanted to turn off the, the pictures, then you can do, okay? Uh, before recording, you can flick through each of the slides to choose where you want to start recording. So say, for example, you were um, on a different slide, you could record onto that slide, or you can go back to the beginning and record from there. You also have the pen tool, so you can highlight or write onto your presentation any information that you want people to know about as you talk about it. Different settings that you have, I tend to leave these alone unless you've got something else plugged in. You can put your notes in so you can pre-record, you can plan what you want to say. We've got the record option, stop and replay. So when you click record, it gives you a countdown and then it's recording and you know it's recording because it's got a little dot by my face. Okay, to stop that, you just stop, press the stop button and then exit out. And then you can see you've got my little face over the slide. So you can see in this little video that I have recorded myself over three slides here. Okay, so when the video plays, you can see myself down in the corner there. When the video plays, yeah, there I am. Okay, this automatically happens. Okay, so the, the, um, the PowerPoint slide, when it's up in um, full screen mode, my video keeps playing. Okay, and when you move through each of the slides, that's exactly what will happen. Okay, so you can talk through each slide and you can go through bit by bit. Some important points to note though, um, once you do add your video and audio onto a presentation, and if you do upload it to Google Classroom, then Google Classroom strips all of that nice information that you've added onto your presentation. If you use PowerPoint online, it does all work on that. It's got all of the features that you will have put on. Um, you do have to use PowerPoint on your computer to put these features on. My suggestion to you would be to convert your presentation to a video and post that onto the Google Classroom as well. And I'm going to show you how to do that next. So you can export your presentation as a video. Okay, the way that we do it is go to File and Export, and then we click Create a Video. Okay, you can choose the different options, but I tend to leave as it is, and then click Create Folder, uh, Create Video, choose wherever you want to save it, give it a name, I always say video at the end, and then save it. And you can see right down at the bottom, it is starting to create a video for you. So you'll end up with the PowerPoint version and the video as well. Okay, just a helpful tip for you. Um, when you're adding your information onto the Google Classroom, I would add in the video that you created and also the PowerPoint presentation. So the pupils can um, view you talking about your lesson as a video, and then they've also got the actual PowerPoint to go with it to go through at their leisure. Hope you find this useful. Thank you.